All right. Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I want to uh, do a, a quick video about how to actually fix the Safari memory leak, or actually completely fix it, not just temporarily fix it. I did this uh, video, get rid of that, uh, <clears throat> a week ago, November 18th, whatever that was, uh, over a week ago, about how to fix memory leak. And basically it was uh, removing the web content file, basically force removing it, force uh, shutting it down. And so there's a couple of fixes. You can, you can restart Safari, uh, you can force uh, remove this web content, um, and, you know, to remove the beach balls, you know, Safari seems to consume. Ever, ever since, uh, I think, uh, Mac OS High Sierra, I started having these issues all of a sudden, out of the blue. And it would consume all my memory, and it would be completely gone. So you couldn't leave a browser open, because it would just continually consume memory. Well, I did find a, a, a complete fix for this, and so I'm going to replace this video with how to fix a memory leak. And the complete fix, uh, apart from force quitting uh, the uh, Safari or the Safari web content item in Activity Manager, <clears throat> let me just go to Activity Monitor here. Activity Monitor, I should say. Let's see if I can find it for you. Safari. Safari web content. I don't even see web content in here yet. Let me go web content. It's not even an issue because I, I fix it. There's a mail web content, but Safari, I guess, hasn't <clears throat> put together a Safari web content. Um, anyways, you can force quit it, and that will um, bring your computer back to life. Uh, that doesn't quit the browser, it just quits the uh, Safari web content thing, which is consuming all your memory. But the actual fix here is to go to uh, Safari uh, in the top right corner, top, sorry, top left corner, um, and click clear history and that clears all the browsing history now as long as you have your password saved in Safari You shouldn't have to re-enter them although this does remove cookies, etc. I, I have, to, have to assume what is happening <clears throat> Is that Safari is looking at your uh, History and maybe trying to preload a bunch of stuff or, or preload stuff So it's faster in general to cache it and so if you clear this history Then it doesn't try and preload that stuff and it doesn't load up um, the Safari web content. So that is the once and for all final fix. This has uh, resolved it for me. I haven't had this issue over two days now. Um, so th that's the follow-up to it. Clear your cache. Um, you know, because I've had literally, literally years and years of uh, history on Safari. And it wasn't a problem until High Sierra. Or at least I didn't notice it at all. I think High Sierra must have introduced some preloading pre- uh, you know, pre-caching, whatever, of, uh, you know, your recent websites. Um, but I never had this issue before. But clearing history was the complete and final solution. So you may have to do that once a month or something, uh, clear your history. But I just wanted to put that out there. It's going to replace this video. I'll take this video down and replace it uh, with the new one since I have uh, the final fix now. So anyways, uh, for whomever that helps, um, I hope that does help somebody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.